Hi everybody, this is Tiffany Ray with Having a Great Day. I came on to give a prophetic word. This prophetic word is coming from a few songs. So what prompted this message, because I got two songs a few months ago, but um, what prompted this message was the song I bumped into. It's from the movie Say Anything. The song is In Your Eyes. So I clicked on a short and they had this song playing. It was like I felt a pull to the song. So then I looked up um, I looked up the song and then what they had was a overview uh, like an outline of the movie with the song playing But they weren't speaking. They was just like showing the, the highlights of the movie with the song playing What was highlighted was the boombox scene like everyone knows about this scene, but I didn't know it was from this movie So when I saw that I was just like, okay, so is the Lord talking about the, the alley cat because remember in that word the, alley, the cat was underneath the window with the rose, remember? And I said in that word that he's coming with a song, a dance, a poem, whatever. <laughs> and I said that um, that wasn't your person, you know? So that was a secret admirer word. So I didn't know if the Lord was speaking about that person, but then I looked at the whole thing and then I saw them getting on. I thought it was a bus. When I looked up the outline, like what was the whole gist of that movie, they were getting on a plane. And remember the gorgeous word I just gave, I said that you guys might be getting on a Greyhound. Like I said it jokingly, but then I was just like, okay, so who's the Lord talking about? The alley cat or the future spouse, right? So then, um, so then after that, the song from Don't Forget About Me from The Breakfast Club. So I was trying not to take that song. I was just like, no, it can't be. It's like, no. I was like, no, like I really tried not to take this on. The Lord kept bringing it to me yesterday. I don't know if you guys know The Breakfast Club, but that song um, was a highlight in that movie. So the 80s might be significant to someone regarding your future spouse, something regarding the 80s. All these songs are from the 80s. So then um, what was next? Hungry Eyes. This is from... Um, from Dirty Dancing, Hungry Eyes. This is a song that the Lord already gave me a few months ago. And I was like, okay, but I didn't get uh, the unction to come on here to give you guys the word, it just came to me. So I was like, okay. So then I woke up singing, what was this song here? I wanna know what love is, that one. I woke up singing that song. So then I knew the Lord was singing something. So I went to look up the song so I could hear the whole thing. Still didn't give like I, I wasn't given the push to come and give the word, but I knew the Lord was saying something and I left it alone. Now I have the green light to give this word. This is a message for someone or a few people. So for the people that think the Lord is not speaking through songs, through movies and things of that nature, it's very unfortunate because the Lord is speaking through everything. He can speak to you through, through dreams, visions, his word, songs, movies, anything the lord rests his spirit on anyone so he could speak to you through books he could speak to you through every signs through everything so if you're closed off in that way then you won't um you you're at a disadvantage so it's unfortunate that people think the lord is not speaking the lord is speaking you just can't hear him you know so you know work on that pray about that um because that's a block there that's a blockage that you have there so for the ones that know no <laughs> and this is a word might be a word for you a confirmation for something that you prayed about all right so the first song is in your eyes oh he loves your eyes your future spouse loves your eyes um maybe the color of your eyes the shape of your eyes what he what happens when he looks in your eyes he loves your eyes so right here what he sees you as is like um where they said unattainable so it's something about you that he feels like is more so not like every other girl not like every other girl you're different it's something about you that um this is for this message here is some are new some are the new guys um that is your future spouse and some are old guys coming back just wanted to say that here so the lord definitely highlighted say anything so you guys will be speaking and um say everything say everything that's on your mind because he's coming to say everything as well um and he wants you to do the same so, okay, so the start of the song where he says love, so he's like speaking, like you are his love, like your name is love. So that's how it starts off. I get so lost sometimes, right? And then um, he feels empty in his heart without you. Um, he feels that you could feel, feel that void. So then right here, the, the highlight, it says, I'm gonna link all the, the, the songs below. So right here, I'm, I come back to the place you are. But whichever way I go, I come back to the place you are. So he's coming back 
physically where you are or he's going to emotionally meet you where you are if that makes sense and the grand facade so soon will burn so yeah it's going to be no more putting up this wall here that he doesn't um have feelings for you that that facade is going to come down yeah, without noise and without pride. So his mind is clear. He's coming back without that pride. I don't know if you, some of you guys, future spouses, suffering with this pride here. Um, well, he's coming back without that. I reach out from the inside. So he's going to reach out. He's going to be pouring all out. Everything that he's been holding in is going to come out. In your eyes. In your eyes. The light, the heat. Your eyes. I am complete. Your eyes. I see the doorways to a thousand churches, your eyes. So a thousand churches, everything about you will lead him to the Lord as well. He, does, he will never feel lost. He knows that he will never be lost with you because of what you are, who you are. And he sees that within you. So it's going to lead him, he says, to a thousand churches. So whatever door he picks, I see the doorway, right? To a thousand churches. So every way within you will lead him right to the Lord. Everything about you will lead him to the Lord. Um, the resolution of all the fruitless searches. So all the girls that um, he was chasing after or being with, doesn't compare to you. Um, doesn't compare to you, it was fruitless. So he wasn't bearing no fruit. Wherever he was at, wherever he was going, wasn't bearing any fruit. Yeah, he won't be lost when he's with you. Yeah, he won't be lost anymore. He feels lost. And it says, I want to I wanna be that complete. I want to touch the light, the heat I see in your eyes. He wants to experience that um, that type of, I guess, passion that you have. Love, I don't, wanna, I don't like to see much pain. This pain here, he wants love, real love. And this is what uh, Say Anything is about. It's like the first love here. So he doesn't want to feel that pain anymore or that pain that he once felt before. He doesn't want to feel that. It's a real love. He feels that he can have that with you. He feels he can have that real love with you. All my instincts, they return. So all the things that he was trying to fight before, he's, he, he's, he stopped, he's going to stop fighting that. They return. So it's, he, he tried to like... Um, Right here, he tried to like ignore it. He tried to fight it, and it, he can't anymore. And without noise, without pride, so he's coming back a new, a new person. And that's it for that one. All right, hungry eyes now. So, I know everyone knows the movie Dirty Dancing here. So everyone knows that this this song here. I've been meaning to tell you. I got this feeling that won't subside so again right here remember in the other one so this won't subside here no matter how hard they're trying this is for old and new love here so it won't go away it won't leave him alone the love for you is not he tried to fight this i don't know why they tried to fight this so much but they did and um now it, it, it's um it's like burning up to the point that they have to like get it out so it says here i got you in my sights so they're watching you um, I think you guys all know that from the other video that they are watching. They got you in your sight. And this is why it's for new and old because it says, now I got you in my sight. So this is why it's some are new. These are men that are your, they're your future spouse and now they're watching you or they are watching you. But these are people that are coming back um, with these hungry eyes. One look at you and I can't disguise. They want you. And then I guess I did pray about it because it's just like, okay, with this song and the other song, I'm just like, Lord, but they're still men. So um, yeah, they're men, they're, they're of the Lord. They might be new in their walk or still they're men of God, but this is just what the Lord is revealing. Like, yeah. They like you, they want you in that way or whatever. But yes, they are. This is a this is a message from the Lord. And then a darling. I, I don't know if you guys remember, I had put a post up regarding darling. I don't know if, I know some people said they do call their future spouse darling or he calls them darling. So it's confirmation for some that um, 
darling is the name that they will they call you or will call you i want to hold you so here i want to hold you so here me out i want to show you what love's all about darling and then he goes on so yeah they uh, want you to hear them out so they're coming to speak to you about whatever they, they they're ready to speak to you about how they've been feeling and they want to let you know that they love you yeah and then it just goes on he have he has you in your his sights and then come down here this is highlight now did i take you by surprise so um they're coming to surprise you something is going to shock you something is going to surprise you so they're not just coming to speak you're going to be shocked you're going to be surprised or whatever it is that they do i need you to see this love was meant to be so i don't know if you've lost faith but i know the lord did reveal people did stop praying people did stop standing you can say so um yeah so now he he knows it's meant to be he wants you to see the same thing and he's going to take you, but he's asking now that I take you by surprise because it's all going to be a shock to you when he does come and says what he says. So yeah, so he, he loves your eyes with this one in your eyes and he loves, he loves what happens when he looks in your eyes and then he has hungry eyes for you and he's coming to surprise you and speak everything that he's been holding in. All right. So now we have i want you to know starts off i gotta take a little time a little time to think things over i better read between the lines in case i need it when i get older so he left he left you and um he might be older as well he might be older than you um right here when he says this mountain i must climb feels like a world upon my shoulders so the, through the clouds, I see love shine. Keeps me warm as life gets colder. So right here, spending time with the Lord. That's why he's climbing this mountain. He's, going, he's spending time with the Lord, or he has been spending time with the Lord. Um, I don't know if I can face it again. So it says, in my life, there's been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face this again can't stop now i've traveled so far to change this lonely life i want to know what love is i want you to show me right here so they want you to show them real love they know real love will come from you and um if they had it before they lost it and they felt pain because of it and they didn't know if they wanted to uh, revisit that pain again but because the love is too, so strong with you, they're going to do it. So they're coming. So it says here, I can't stop now. I've traveled so far. So there's some people physically coming where you are. Physically. Physically, you guys were far apart. Or they're going to meet you where you are. Some type of, uh, some type of um, physical movement had to happen. Uh, with some with some of these people here, they had to come to you because you guys aren't close. Oh yeah, okay. So again, I gotta take a little time, a little time to look around me. It says I've got nowhere left to hide. Looks like love has finally found me. So love has been kicking their behind, and they they can't fight it anymore. So they're definitely coming back to um speak their speak the everything is coming out. And then down here says, let's talk about love. And you know, you just can't hide. Oh yeah, you can't hide anymore either. Right here was a, a great highlight. So now not only is he not gonna hide, you can't either. So for some of you, you guys have been hiding your feelings too. And you won't be able to hide them either. So this is what they're coming back. They're only coming back to talk about love. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. That's the, that's the whole goal love so they're coming back and that's all they want to talk about what are you guys going to do where are you guys going to go where are you guys going to uh what's going to happen so now the connection is going to be real um all right so two more okay so here with the breakfast club so don't forget so this is for the old relationships where it says won't you come see about me i'll be alone dancing you know it baby tell me your troubles and doubts 
giving me everything inside and out. So right here, he might like to dance. Tell me your troubles and your doubts. So everything that you've been bottling up, everything you've had a problem with or have a problem with, um, he wants to know everything that makes you happy and everything that makes you sad. Won't you come see about me? So you stop checking for him. He notices that. So now there's no other females around him. Does love strange, so real in the dark. Think of the tender things that we were working on. Um, so there might have been some building happening with you guys and it came to a halt. Love is strange, so real in the dark, away from everybody. It's realer when no one else is around y'all. Yeah, he wants to know your ins and outs. He wants to know everything about you. Your likes and your dislikes. Yeah. Slow change may pull us apart. So something pulled you guys apart. And don't forget about me. Praying you won't forget about them. So you guys, this is the people that wasn't, they're not in communication with their future spouse at all. Like total disconnect. And they're praying that you don't forget about them. Will you stand above me? I guess he's, this one right here, I had to, uh, I had a question mark about, I think he, uh, will you allow him to lead you or would you try to lead him is the question. So I don't know what you guys were going through before, but will you stand above him? Like, will you uh, try to take charge of him or will you let him lead you? Look my way, never love me, brain keeps falling. Will you recognize me? He's coming back as a whole new person. Will you recognize him? He will look different. He will be different. He will sound different. He will, everything about him will be different. Don't you try to pretend. Be real with him. I won't harm you or touch your defenses. He won't try to harm you on purpose. I don't know if you guys have had a relationship where men will deliberately do things to break you or break your heart in a way because of their insecurities. He's not going to do that. He's going to be patient and tender with you here. I'll put us back together. So at heart. So he's coming back to mend this relationship. He's going to fix it. You like, you already know you're, he's going to fix it. He's telling you this. You don't have to do a thing. I guess the, the Lord already spoke this to you guys. So it's nothing for you to do. He's going to do it. As I walk on by, will you call my name as you walk on by? Will you keep going? Or will you stop? Will you will you keep going after after he tries? Will you will you after he tries to mend everything? Will you still leave? So this is what's in the people that's coming back. This is what's in their mind. Will you still leave them even after they come to try to fix it? Oh, will you walk away? Will you walk on by? Come on, call my name. Will you call my name? Yeah, in his head still. So after he tells yeah okay so that's the same thing he's just uh worried about that but it's nothing for you to worry about he's gonna come fix it anyway so that's something that you need to pray about so this is the last song take me home tonight so this is a song that i couldn't get so right because this is part is the only part that's highlighted so i'm gonna skip all the way down so it says take me home tonight i don't wanna let you go to see the light take me home tonight Listen, honey, just like Ronnie sang, be my little baby. <laughs> that one part right here. So uh, he doesn't want to let you go. So it won't be just for that one night. Of course not. Um, he doesn't want you to go to, you know what I'm saying, after after that. But this is what, what it is. This is what they're wanting. Uh, take me home. Just like Ronnie said, that might be, and then be my little baby. So he wants you to be his little baby. Um, well, his wife, of course, wait, this is what it is. He wants you to be his little baby. Um, just like Ronnie saying, that might be significant, the name Ronnie. In the beginning, before I skipped over here, so it said like, um, so yeah, so this song is a little, you know, because it said, um, I feel a hunger. It's a hunger that tries to keep a man awake at night. Um, uh, are you the answer? I shouldn't wonder when I feel you with my appetite. So it's like, and then it says here, so just thinking, you know, like how men are when he, they're fantasizing about a woman that they like. So right here it says with the power, it isn't safe to walk the streets alone. So right here, it was kind of a question mark. I guess you're alone too. Anticipating is running through me. 
let's find the key and turn this engine on. So their mind is just like thinking about you in that type of way as well as the other way as well. That the door, you're the doorway to a thousand churches. They also think of you like this as well. So what was revealed to me too, but what the Lord revealed to me too, is they think of you as a good girl and they think of you as like, you know, like both ways. So they think of you as a pure, good girl. And then they also thinking about you. <laughs> They're also thinking about you in this kind of way as well. Um, nothing like weird, but just as like a husband and wife would be thinking about each other. This is how they think about you as both pure and, you know, where it says, um, I get so frightened in all this darkness. I get nightmares. I hate to sleep alone. I need some company, a guardian angel to keep me warm when the cold winds blow. So he sees you as a guardian angel, like I said before. So a guardian angel is someone that protects someone. They pray for that person. So he sees you. He knows who you are in, in that way as well. So he, he'll feel, he feels safe with you. He's going to feel safe with you. He wants to be with you, which is the light. And um, he, I get nightmares. I hate to sleep alone. So he wants to be with you. He wants you to be um, his partner. He wants you to be in his bed. He wants you to be comfort to him. He's tired of this being alone with no fulfillment. He couldn't find it in any of the other girls. I need some company, a guardian angel. That's how he sees you as his guardian angel. Um, you are a phys what? You're a praying girl. He knows that you're a praying girl. He sees you as, like I said, both good and good and bad or whatever. He sees you as a good girl, bad girl. All right. That's a big thing here. But a man to think of you as a guardian angel, like a, um, a safety, a safety net. Coming to let you know how he feels about you, whether it's a new guy or an old guy, he's coming to bear all. And this is how he sees you. There is nothing else. There's no one else. There's nothing else out there for him and he knows that now there is no is everything that he's ever he's tried since you has been fruitless so yeah so you're his light you're his guardian angel all any door that he picks within you will lead him to the lord so it's like you will be his um he's he's not in a healthy happy place and he knows that you are you will be his healthy and happy place and he knows that because the lord was able to work through him so he has been spending time with the lord um, that's why he was on the mountain. He was in the secret place with the Lord. The Lord revealed who you are. He sees um, happiness. He sees uh, a life of happiness with you in through, uh, through your, and he loves the way you look. He loves your eyes. He loves your eyes. He really does. I think that's that might be the, the his favorite part of you, the name Darling. So that's a thing too. He might be calling you Darling to himself. Like, my, oh, that's my Darling or he has called you darling or you call him darling my darling something about the word darling and something about the name ronnie as well so i hope this message helped you guys i love you guys it's a wonderful message lord you know blessings to you and your union and i pray that everything comes full circle and fruition for you guys in this year um you know so just make sure that you stay close to the lord if you have any blockages going on any evil connections with people that may be blocking your your connection with uh your future spouse so just make sure you stay close to the lord and pray to the lord to make sure there's no hindrance or demonic delays regarding your union i love you guys have a wonderful and blessed day and i'll see you soon love with me and be blessed